All right, everybody, welcome to a YouTube tutorial on how I make my gaming thumbnails. Now, I'm going to try not to drag this out too long, but we're going to go through just a few things that I do to create my thumbnails, and we're going to create one today for the finals. Finals is a real fun game. Real fun game. Have a good time playing it. And I need a thumbnail. I need a new thumbnail for the next time that I play it. Okay? Now, right up here on the screen, you can see what I'm doing up here on the screen. Now, we done got this woman right here. She's looking real nice. Real nice looking woman here. And we got her about right. This right here. That's my channel. You know, this is the type of woman I like to have on the channel. This is her. Looking real nice. Now, we're going to drag her over. This is just a PNG. It's a PNG file of this character here from the finals. And she's on a, a, a blank background. There's no color on this background. And we're going to bring her all, we're going to bring her whole self over here now to this purple background right here now, okay? Now the finals colors are not purple, okay? They're red. But I'm going to try one purple. Cause I think it'll stand out and I want people to click on it because it stands out real nice. Now right over here in the layers tab, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little TB on that. That's Titty Biscuits, that's my channel, you can check it out. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna head, we'll just call this body. We got a head and a body and that, that about makes a whole damn, whole damn human being right there. And we're gonna go over here and we're gonna group these, we're gonna link them link them up that way they stay together you can't have a head without the body they need to stay together at all times and we're gonna grab that we're gonna grab it we're gonna bring it right over here to this tab we're gonna drop it right on in there that's nice that's real nice we're gonna control t that stands for transform and we're gonna we're gonna bring it on down we'll transform it we're gonna bring it on down something like that yeah that's nice right there that's real nice now a lot of the time I like to have my women or the characters in my thumbnail be on the right hand side of the thumbnail. And that's because they're in America. We read left to right. Okay? Left to right. So I like to have my text be over here on the left. And then I like to have my women be on the right. Okay? That's just the way I do it. You can do it however you want to do it. Okay? The lights are looking good. We're, that's a good start. Now what we want to do is we want to probably go ahead and just get us some text. And we're, we'll probably just take take the finals right on out of, a, of another thumbnail. We're just going to paste it on right, up, right on up here now. And we can do that. We can create some custom text. So I've got some text downloaded. You, you can go to any website. You can get some licensable or free text. And you can download it and use it however you want to. So well, we can go over here, okay? Now this is more of a more of a playful text, okay? You can do it like this right here if you want to. And I like to create separate words. I saw that in another YouTube video, how they how they created separate words, so you can control them all individually. Now, I don't know if I like the way this is looking right here for, for the game and for the style that I'm going for, okay? So I might end up grabbing something different. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and take, take this text right here, and I'm going to go ahead and just pull it on off there. Now, since we got a, a solid white text on a solid red background, uh, this should be real easy to get off, okay? Real easy, real nice. And what we're going to do is going to hit W. And we're gonna hit the magic wand tool. We're going here and we'll just select that T like that right there. And hold down shift now. And you select the, the H and the E right there together. You hit the F and the I and the N and the A. And right there you got it, you got it. Now we do probably wanna bring this little register trademark icon over too cause it don't belong to us. And I ain't trying to steal nothing from nobody. We're gonna zoom way on in there. Real, real close, real close. 
I'm gonna hit that W key. I'm gonna hit Shift, and we're gonna click that. And this it's real pixelated, so we're gonna have to click it a few times. Click that R right there a few times. It ain't really gotta be perfect now, you know. It ain't gotta be perfect. And uh, I think that's about a decent selection right there. And we'll go. We'll zoom back out now. Now you can hit that V key, and there's some little scissors right there. Some little scissors right there. And you can cut it if you want to cut it. But by default, if you just click it and drag it, it's going to come right on off air. And we got ourselves a that um, good looking text. And I actually like that it's a layer below the body. It, it just gives it a little bit more depth. You know, that's what we're looking for in a thumbnail. We're looking for, we're looking for depth. Okay. We're looking for something that's going to stand out. It's going to have some layers to it. It's got a little bit of depth to it. And I, I really like the way this looks. Now, we don't really need this anymore. I'm not worried about that icon right there. We're going to go back over here. And back that, get, back that gum, I think that looks pretty damn good. Now, the thumbnails, you can do a whole lot, whole lot of stuff to a gum thumbnail. But really, you just want to keep it real simple. Make it look nice and make it look simple. I'm going to rename that right there. Finals. Text. That's right. It's the right layer. There's text finals. Okay. Now, what I think I want to do here is I like to add an element of the game to the background. But you got to be careful. You want to keep it real simple now. But I like to add an element of the game to the background of my, my daggum thumbnail. All right. Now, I got me an image of some coins. And I'm not going to take you through every step of the process of me looking up images and all that. It's real boring. It ain't no fun watching me do that. But what you want to do, you want to just make sure the images and the text, whatever you're using, give credit where credit's due. If it ain't yours, you didn't make it. You know, give credit. Make sure that it's available for free download. Okay? What I'm going to do, I found one I like. I think it's gonna work out, and we'll see. Oh, don't well, it don't look too good now that I don't put it on there. We'll see. It's got a weird look to it. Go ahead and just hit this check mark. It'll clear it up a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Uh, let's let's make it a little bigger because we can do a few things to these images and make them look a little bit better. They don't have to look perfect right 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 now. We can do some things to them. Okay. I don't know about that though. That's looking real jaggedy. Yeah, it's looking, that's looking real jaggedy. I don't like that. That's not any good. We're gonna get rid of that. And we're gonna get us another one. We we'll get a better one. All right. All right. Now I done found me another one that I think looks pretty good. Okay. Took me a minute to find it. I'm not gonna record that process. It's real boring. Ain't no fun. But I done found me another one that I think I like a little bit better. It don't look too bad. Looks pretty good. It's a little jagged. A little jagged. Got some jaggediness to it, but it ain't nothing major. It ain't nothing major. And you got to remember now, we're, we're looking at all this on a desktop. Okay? I'm going to clean that edge up right there. Just be real gentle with it. That's nice. That's nice. Make sure you're on the right layer. You don't want to erase nothing important. Okay? You're just going to clean that edge up. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. That's real nice right there. Just take that little bit off right there too. Clean that up right there. Oh yeah, that's nice right there. Oh yeah. Just clean this so that ain't that don't look too smooth. I don't like that right there. Go ahead and just clean that up. Gotta be real careful now. Real careful. Real nice and easy. That's good right there. It looks okay, you know, it ain't the best thing in the world I ever seen or nothing like that. But it looks pretty good. And you can sit here and you can adjust how you want it to be and where on the screen you want it to be. You know, whatever you think you need to do now, all right? I think that's probably a pretty good start, okay? Go ahead and just finalize that right there. Get it on there. Now, you got to think, too. I see a little, a little leftover. You got to think, too. Now, most people are watching these videos on a mobile phone, Okay? They're not watching these videos on the desktop. It's on the mobile phone. So it don't really matter too bad little minor, minute details like that. Because ain't nobody going to see it. Okay? 
So you ain't gotta worry too much about it. Try to get all, you know, just get get some get get your good little frame, up, get your good little frame up going. I think that's probably about about right. That looks probably about right. A little frame up. Now what we can do from here, we're just gonna label that coins, and we'll probably grab our little text here, and we'll we'll probably adjust that just a tiny little bit. Bring maybe you know just bring it out and over just a little bit. This is all up to you. Whatever you think looks good. So now we got ourselves an element of the game inside the thumbnail. We got our, our lady here and we got our text. Now you really don't want to overcomplicate these thumbnails, okay? It's just not something you want to do. You want to keep it simple. So now what we're going to do, since I think we got ourselves a decent little setup here, is we're going to start, just make a couple customizations. And we're gonna lock this layer here because we don't want to touch that layer. I tell you, you any layer that you're not working on, you need to lock that layer. Because you're gonna make a selection, you're not gonna realize what you did, and you're gonna be real upset. So we're gonna get this text layer here and all my other ones are locked. And we're just gonna add some real simple things here, okay? We're gonna go to bevel and emboss, all right? And that just gives it a little fluffy, a little, little puffy, a little fluffy. Makes it stand out a little bit. It's got a little bit of meat on it, you know? I and mean, you can play with the depth. You don't want to go too deep with it, though, because it's just not going to look right. Now, you can probably leave it right at about 100. And size, the same thing. You don't really want to do too much to it. i probably leave it about 10. Default's really pretty good. You just go ahead and leave it probably about 10. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to go to a good old drop shadow. And that's going to really make that sucker stand out. You can leave, it's up to you, leave that distance down all the way. I, I just like it to be right underneath the text instead of down low like that. But you can put it down low if you want. It looks pretty good. We might, we might make it go down low a little bit. Spread, I, I don't really mess with it too much. Size though, size is where it is fellas okay your size is really where it is you want to go ahead and you want to just bring it up a little just distort that background just a little bit okay probably not like this it it, it, it looks real flat you want to just bring it bring it up just a little bit there you go and you push it out push it we're going for depth here now the outer glow it, it, it does a lot of the same thing that a drop shadow will do but it, it's going to give you a, 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 a little bit more oomph a little bit more um and now we got to decide what color fits right with our palette here you don't want to get crazy with the colors it ain't gonna look right you gotta keep color theory in the back of your mind in your heart okay I think it's I think it's sort of baby blue that that's not a bad looking color right there now you can change it from normal to screen if you want it to be a little bit lighter you could even go to soft light, but that don't really do much. That just kind of blends it in in the drop shadow. I think I'll leave it on normal, but we need to bring that size weight. Bring it down a little bit, okay? Yeah, play with it. Play, play with it. I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't know if I even like that. I might change it to black. Now, what you're going to do here is if you do that, you're going to check it off, check it back on. Check it off and check it back on. And you're going to need to you're going to need to figure out what level works for you. Maybe screen works better in this case if you raise up that size. It don't do much, does it? So we're going to put it back on normal. Check it off. Raise that size up. That's see that's probably about too much. Maybe somewhere in there it looks all right. Check it off. Check it on, check it off. It looks pretty good with it on, I suppose. It just, it makes it stand out. You know, you just wanna create that depth. It looks good without it too. I mean, hellfire, I think it looks good without it too. And one, another thing I like to do is I like to do a little bit of inner glow and that just gives that edge of that letter. It gives it a little bit more, uh, something, it gives a little bit more juice to it. But again, you gotta decide what color makes sense for this daggum letter it doesn't need to clash too hard 
but it also needs to, to stand out. So it can't be the same color as the background. And I'm thinking the one that looks about the best is probably somewhere in this green range. That's looking all right to me. Something like a middle, a little bit of a little bit of green and a little bit of blue. And we can leave that on normal. Opacity is fine. Size, you don't want it to be too big. You want it to just kind of be there. Just provide a little bit, a little bit of pop for it now, okay? Inner glow, that's what we wanted. And we can take that off if we don't like it. Take your time with these thumbnails. Play around with these thumbnails. Now this stroke, man, that, it don't look too damn bad, but we're going to mind me change the color. And that, the stroke is a little it's too big. You know, it's too big. We're going, we're going to lower it down. We're going to click here, click here, and just lower it down. You see what I'm saying? Maybe that don't look good either. Maybe we need to do white. No, that don't look good. You just got to play around. Play around. Figure out what look good and what don't look good. Maybe you don't need a stroke at all. Maybe you don't need one. Take it off. Right? Take it off. Maybe we take that inner glow out and we put a stroke on instead. Okay? That looks pretty good. Maybe we don't need that inner glow. Maybe we just want that stroke. That good stroke. And play around with what colors you want it to be. I think that color right there, I think it complements the background pretty damn good. But you don't want this overlap right here. See all how that's overlapping real bad? You're going to have to reduce the size of the stroke. Just reduce it a little bit. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It could be better. It could be better. But we took this off of another of another image that's why them letters are so close together like that so what we might do is we might hide this here hide that right there and i i think i got a font here i think i got me a font here i think it might be impact might be the might be the closest one and we'll just type that out see what it looks like it might look better with with my own font maybe it does and we'll go here and we'll do the finals and I like to make it all caps, you know, because this is the text that everybody's going to see. It's real big and it's real important. And you're going to bring that up. That looks nice. That's not too bad. I mean, it, it's okay. It looks all right. Yeah. You just play around. Just play around. you just having fun, having a good old time. Just having a good time. Now everybody knows what this is, so the fact that it's behind that wing air, the fact that it's behind that wing air, that ain't no big deal. By that behind that arm, rather, that don't matter. Everybody knows what this is. Okay, don't worry about it. I think that looks all right. That ain't too bad. So we'll come over here, and I like to bring that up top because that's the way it's read. And we're just going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it on our own text. We might have a little bit more flexibility. Okay? So we'll go ahead and we'll add us a drop shadow. And you know what? Why don't we just try a gradient overlay? And we'll come in here. And let's, yeah, let's just see what that looks like. Let's go back down here. Maybe get some of this green-blue color. Let's get some of that green-blue. Yeah, okay, okay, it don't look too bad, it don't look too bad. Now, we want an outer glow, it's a little darker. Reduce that size down a little, just make it pop. Get us a stroke going. See what you like with the stroke color. Maybe you just want that stroke color to be white. Just bump it up real quick, just bump it up a little bit. See what you think looks good. Just give it a little bump, yeah. Get a little bump, a little bump up. That's not too bad. It could be better. And you're just gonna play around with this stuff, guys, okay? That's all you're gonna do. You're gonna play around in, and you're gonna figure out what looks good to you, all right? That's what it's all about. You figure out what looks good to you. What you think is gonna work for your thumbnail, 
and that's what you put on there. You put on there what you think is going to look good for your thumbnail. And, 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 and take your time. There ain't no rush. Be smart about it. And you just pick something that works. It works for you. Alright, so for the sake of ease. For the sake of ease now. I think I'm just going to leave that like it is with the white and the black stroke. I played around with some colors, and some of them looked all right, but you, you, there's a lot of things going on in this scene, and you want to try to keep that simple as you can, okay? You want to try to keep that real simple. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that for right now. And you play with it however you want to. Now I'm going to lock these layers, okay? Because I'm going to move on to this right here. I'm going to move on to our lady here, okay? So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go in here, and really all I like to do with the characters is obviously we're going to give them a little drop because you want them to stand out from the background and you can you can adjust that size and that distance and all that such and just 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 push them out away from that background just a little bit okay just push them right on out from it right on out from it. okay whatever you think looks good and you can do the same thing with the outer glow and just you just kind of ups that drop shadow just a tiny little bit and you can just, you know, play, play with it. It's how you want it. Just get it how you want it to be, okay? All right, that's not too bad, all right? Now, you can add a stroke here just to, just to sort of solidify. One thing that you will notice is if you add a stroke, you might have missed some pixels. So we're going to want to go ahead and we're going to want to get that out of there. So just boom, right? Oh, that's nice. That's real simple. And we can go right back on in there. And we're just, we, we might make that stroke white. Yeah, that looks pretty daggum good right there. And that's all you really want. You just want to create some depth. You want to create some separation. And I don't think we need to do really anything else to her. I don't think we do. We can take this if you hold Alt. And we can drag it up to our lady on the, right there on her head. But it don't look right. Because she's got a neck and we don't want to cut that off. So we can go here, we might take that stroke away. It might take that stroke away. Don't really need that outer glow, I guess. Well, it looks all right. We might bring that size down because we got too much of a shadow going on here right there with her neck. So we might just bring it down just a tiny little bit. You know, we don't, it might not need to be that much. Because we, we don't want her head to be totally separated from her neck, right? That outer glow might work better than that drop shadow. So we might just take that, take this outer glow. And that looks pretty good. That's not too bad of a shadow right there, you see? It don't completely cut her head off from her neck. That's not what you want. It's not what you want in a lady. You don't want that. So we'll just, that, that ain't too bad right there. You just play with it. And I think we'll keep that. And that, that's per daggum good right there, okay? So we're gonna lock in layers. We're gonna lock in layers, all right? Now, it's still a little bit flat in terms of the background. So this is where you can have a little fun with what you do to the background. I like to take some type of particle effect and I like to put that into the background, okay? So now I've got these particles. They're sitting on top of my background now, all right? Now, what you'll end up needing to do, and we'll go ahead and just name this particles. You'll need to take your uh, layer type and you'll need to change that to something like screen or maybe soft light. Screen usually works the best for this kind of thing, but you're still going to have to play with what it looks like. So you can con control T it and you can scale it up. You can move it up and down, whatever you want to do, really. You can do whatever you want to do. If you get that shift, you can kind of drag it free for them. And I like that it has like a little bit of lens flare already built into it. That's real nice. I like that. And then you can hit that check mark and it'll set you, set you right on up. Set you right on up. And that's not too bad. You know, that ain't too bad. It could be better. It, it ain't perfect, okay? I'm not a pro I'm not no professional thumbnail maker okay I'm just showing you some methods all right now if you want to if you want to you can go over here to your coins 
since that's a separate part of the image remember we drug that in and if you want to give them daggum things a little oh my god look at that right there you give them daggum things a little drop shadow and maybe some glow and that now you got a whole lot of depth going on that's what you want you want depth in your image it's just like a paint now that that you see we got a whole lot of pixels we you know we don't want that stroke okay but what you do want, like if you're doing a painting, you want some depth to your painting. It just looks good. It don't look so flat. Now, we got some depth in those coins. We got some particles in the background. We got a good looking woman right here. And we got our text. And that's really about all we need to do. Okay? Now, I like to lock all my layers. And if you hit that Z button, you, you get it down here. That's probably about what it's going to look like on a mobile phone. Okay? It still stands out. Stands out. Now, that's not too bad of a thumbnail. It could be better. Could be better. And you make these however you want to make them. Okay? Play around with this stuff. And what you're going to want to do is, well, you're going to come up here, you're going to go save. And I'm, almost, I'm just going to name it the finals. And we'll say uh, V1. That stands for version. Stands for version one now, okay? Go thumbnail file. We'll put it in the Photoshop folder. Finals V1. Okay? And save it. And what I like to do is once that's on, come over here and I'm going to flatten it. Reduce that file size. And I like to save it as a PNG file. Okay? PNG. That's just me. Do whatever you want to do. And right here, I don't put it there and put it right there. That's my that's my reference art. I just put it in the thumbnails folder because it's done. And I'm gonna put it in there and I'm gonna say for smallest file size. And that's gonna save real nice. And now we got ourselves a daggum thumbnail for this game. And we can hit that control Z now that that's done. And if you want to do a little trick, and this don't always work out, okay? It don't always work out. But you come up here to adjustment, you hit that hue and saturation. And what you're gonna do is gonna go hit right click and gonna create a layer mask or a clipping mask, excuse me, clip it. And then you can take this hue slider and you can change that hue. I see I don't really it's not really doing much for us and particles is there, it ain't really working. You can move it down over that top of that background, and you can change that hue and maybe create yourself a couple variations of that same thumbnail changing that color up real fast like that and that right there will get you some 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 quick quick changes because the color of the of the finals is red okay so we're gonna delete that layer mask we don't really need that delete all of it get rid of it and what you can do is you come in here get rid of that just hide it you don't gotta get rid of it now you change this to red okay change it to red now boom just like that drop it on there now you got yourself one that looks a little bit more like the actual game does okay you bring your particles back play with your particles change your colors change your change the stroke color change the drop shadow color and i'm going to save this version right here that's going to be v2 because that's the second version gonna save it to the to to the file and i'm gonna flatten it and i'm gonna save it as a dat gun png right there it's boom and i'm just gonna save it in the folder because it's, it's done and we got ourselves a little thumbnail here okay that's what we got ourselves going on we got there we got a dat gun thumbnail going on okay so if i bring these up right here side by side that's not what i meant to do let me bring these up right here side by side and bring them both up and we'll just do this and we'll do that and now you got yourself some some thumbnails to work with okay now i hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial all right now and uh this is by no means a professional tutorial and i'm not a professional thumbnail maker okay i like to make videos on youtube and I thought I'd share a little bit of my process with y'all uh, and, and have fun with this and watch other people do it and practice and get good at it. And you can make your own tutorial, okay? And y'all have fun playing these games, all right? And if you want to check out my channel, I got a lot of pretty ladies on there just like this one right here. 
TD Biscuits is the channel. You f you found it if you're here. You don't found it. You can check it out, and you can reach out to me if you want to. You can like and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see y'all uh, uh on down the road now. Okay, all right.